Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another Biostats video. We'll be talking about prevalence and incidence, what they mean, how you can calculate them, how they're linked, and many other intricacies. Prevalence describes a proportion of how many existing cases there are for any given population. For example, if there are 55 people afflicted with SLE out of 1,000 in a given population, then the prevalence of SLE in that population is 55 out of 1,000. Incidence is slightly more complicated. It describes a ratio of those who newly develop the disease within a given time period to all those who potentially could develop the disease. So, there are 23 people becoming afflicted with SLE each year, then the incidence of SLE per year for the same population that already has 55 people with SLE is 23 over 1000 minus 55. Notice how the denominator has a subtraction in it, since the people that already do have the disease are not technically at risk of potentially developing it. So, prevalence counts the existing cases out of all the people in the population while incidence is showing us a rate of how many new cases are developing. Here's an important formula. Prevalence over 1 minus prevalence equals incidence rate times average duration of the disease. This formula highlights an important relationship. Think of this formula as having two sides. The left side is the prevalence side and the right side is the incident side. When the average duration of a disease is low, the incident side starts to become a number that matches the prevalence side. If the average duration of the disease is high, the incident side now needs to be low relatively when compared to the prevalence side. This formula can be used to calculate, but more importantly it shows this relationship where acute diseases present a situation in which prevalence and incidence become very similar. However, chronic diseases present a situation in which the prevalence is higher than the incidence. So now, how can we predict whether prevalence and or incidence would increase and or decrease in certain situations? Let's imagine a timeline, which represents all the people with disease X. A dot represents when the case first started and the line extending from it shows how long the disease has been afflicting the person. With increased survival time, we can further extend these lines out, so any points that were barely pushing into the timeline that we're interested in would now be counted in our study and increase the overall prevalence. But we didn't technically increase the number of dots at all, so incidence stays the same. The opposite is true when considering an increase in mortality or a faster recovery time. Although death is different from recovery, they still both shorten the lines that were extending from the dots. Therefore, some lines may leave the timeline we're interested in. Thus, they won't be counted and prevalence decreases. But again, since we didn't change the number of dots, incidence technically is still the same. With extensive vaccine administration and decreasing risk factors, we decrease the number of cases overall. Now we are affecting the number of dots, so this will decrease the overall prevalence as well as the incidence. This explains why doctors try to control a patient's blood sugar, lipid levels, encourage smoking cessation, etc. to reduce the prevalence and incidence of myocardial infarction, for example. That's it for this part. Tune in next time to burn some more ATP on our educational content. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to receive our latest explanations.